What's going on guys, welcome to the video. Brexiteer and Deputy Chairman of the European Research Group, Marc Francois, has come out praising Nigel Farage for his help with Brexit. In what should be good news for us, because of course, we don't need the Tory party and the Brexit party taking lumps out of each other. They do essentially want the same aim, even if it is a slightly different outcome. At the end of the day, it's them two parties against the rest, for us Brexiteers. And you will remember in recent times they've actually been campaigning against each other with some of the media reports that have been coming out from either side. Especially when you consider reports that peerages were offered to Brexit party candidates. But it seems maybe Marc Francois is trying to dim the fires that have been burning between the Brexit party and the Conservative party. Hopefully with an aim of trying to stop them from taking votes off of each other, meaning they would put in a Remain MP that no one wants. We have to remember that just as important as getting a Tory majority to ensure Brexit, it's equally important that we drain the swamp of all the traitorous MPs that we possibly can. We want as many of them gone as possible. Now we're going to take a quick look at this Express article and go over the video that the article is talking about so I don't have to sit there and read it all out. It headlines, don't forget Nigel. Tory praise Farage for Brexit vote ahead of general election. Nigel Farage has found an unlikely ally in Marc Francois, deputy chairman of the Eurosceptic European Research Group, who said the Brexit party leader deserves more respect from the Conservative Party and suggested without him, Brexit might not even be on the agenda. He also heaped praise on Mr Farage for his decision not to field candidates in seats where Tories were elected in 2017. I can understand why Mark is going to heap praise on him for that, even if I don't fully agree with it. Suggesting fundamentally the two parties were on the same side, as I've said, and is obvious. Mark Francois speaking in his constituency office in Raleigh in Essex during a break from campaigning to be re-elected as MP for Raleigh and Wickford, told Express.co.uk, I think Nigel did do the right thing in deciding not to oppose incumbent Conservatives. And as I understand it, he is turning most of his fire on Labour and to some extent the Liberal Democrats. Rightly, because they are the people who have been stopping Brexit in Parliament. Now rather than carrying on reading through the article, let's just take a look at the video clip that The Express have got with it, obviously from their interview with Marc Francois. Nigel Farage did do the right thing in deciding not to oppose incumbent Conservatives and as I understand it you know he's turning most of his fire on Labour and to some extent the Liberal Democrats rightly because those are the people who've been stopping Brexit in Parliament so I mean I argued at the time that it made little sense the Brexit party and the Conservative party taking massive lumps out of each other when we both wanted the same objective which was to leave the European Union. So I think what he's done is right and we should say so and you know I understand that in some parts of the country the Brexit party are putting the Labour party under serious pressure. Now with regard to, to Boris's deal um, I've obviously looked at that extremely carefully as the Deputy Chairman of the ERG, so did my Chairman Steve Baker, so did all the other members of the ERG, including the so-called 28 Spartans, as we got nicknamed, who voted against May's deal all three times. Boris's deal is different in that in one sentence, it takes us out of the European Union when Theresa May's deal did not. I'm happy to go through why that is. But in a nutshell, we all of us, to a man and a woman, voted for Boris's deal in the end because our acid test was, does it take us out of the EU? And it does. If we Brexit, and I, if, the, if there's a majority Conservative government, we'll get that deal through Parliament and we'll leave by the end of January. So I believe that's now a realistic prospect. If we do that, then in a sense Nigel's life's work is, is, is achieved. Mm. But that's ultimately a decision for him. I think it's fair to say that my party has not always respected Nigel, perhaps in the way that we should have done. Um, I mean, I still want people to vote Conservative in the general election. Don't be under any illusion about that. But you could argue 
that if Nigel Farage had never existed, if he'd never been born, mm. we'd never have had an EU referendum in the first place. Now, if you ask me, that video is trying to soften up conservative opinion to working with the Brexit party, whether that be its members or its voters, or actually the MP or parliamentary candidates and the party as a whole. And, in my opinion, it would be the right thing to do as well. We don't need the Conservative Party and the Brexit Party going at loggerheads with each other. We need them working together to take down the Remainers, Liberal Democrats and especially Labour. Now, we already know that I don't fully agree with them standing down candidates everywhere that the Tories have won before. I think that some of the Remainers should have been kicked out of the Tory party completely. Even though Boris says all of his MPs have signed on to accept his deal, they should have been forced to sign on to accept no deal as that's still the default outcome at the end of next year. Or possibly in January if Boris decides it, but next year is the more likely one if it was to ever happen. And let me tell you, that's still not that likely. But Mark then gets to talking about Boris Johnson's deal and why what he says is right he could have actually went into a lot more detail during this little discussion and eased a few people's minds. Because at the end of the day, the political declaration can be changed and people need to understand this. And there also needs to be some willingness from the Conservative Party to change it. The Conservative Party need to come out and say that so they can get some of the more ardent Brexiteers on side. People are still not happy with Boris Johnson's deal, me being one of them. While I understand it's not legally binding as it stands and a lot of things can be changed, the Tory party need to make sure that they change them. Boris's words once during a campaign video is not enough for me, I am sorry. And he finishes up that clip talking about if Brexit gets done, obviously Nigel's life work will be achieved, and it will be. Maybe a statue of Nigel will be in order somewhere near Parliament, since he would have helped and been a vital part of getting us out of the EU, along with some of the ERG and others, of course. It wasn't just Nigel, but he has definitely been the face of it and took the brunt of the criticism and the smears over the last 20 years. So Marc Francois is right. His life work would have been achieved, providing it's an actual Brexit and not as it currently stands, like I said, where we remain technically part of the EU with level playing field and all the other nonsense that's in Boris Johnson's deal as a possibility at the moment. So just having a Tory majority won't necessarily be Nigel's life work complete, but it could be if Boris changes his deal, like he said in his video recently. I guess we will just have to wait and see on that one. But like I said, this is good news because we need more Tories supporting the Brexit party and vice versa. These MPs and candidates, because they're not actually MPs anymore, I keep calling them MPs when they're not, they need to support each other because they both support Brexit. And let me tell you, the voters of this country do not want the Tory party and the Brexit party at loggerheads with each other when they should be focusing on taking on the Lib Dems, Labour, the SNP and every other Ramonian party in UK politics. The most important thing is not attacking each other and it never will be. The most important thing for them to do is stop Remainers ending up in Parliament so we don't end up with another situation like we had over the last three years. Because that will be like another five years of that, possibly. It could be like this one in three years, another general election. Who knows? But we don't want it, so they need to sort it out and actually work together rather than against each other. And like I said, maybe Marc Francois is trying to start that off here. I mean, we already see what happened in the Peterborough by-election and the Brecon and Radnishir election for both sides. If one of them in either side would have stood down, then we would have had two more Brexiteer MPs in Parliament. But as it stood, we ended up with two Remainers. So Marc Francois looks like he's trying to stop that happening again. Personally, I think more needs to be done by more MPs, as I've already said. But on that note, I'm going to end the video there, guys. I want to thank our PayPal, Patreon, Subscribestar and YouTube members for supporting the channel along with everyone who watches my videos. Remember to let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Leave a like, subscribe with the notification bell and share this video as it helps the channel a lot. And I will see you all in the next one. This parliament is a dead parliament. It should no longer sit. It has no moral right to sit on these green benches. They don't like the truth. Twice they have been asked to let the electorate decide upon whether they should continue to sit in their seats while they block 17.4 million people's votes. 
Parliament is a disgrace. But they're too cowardly to give it away. But the time is coming. The time is coming, Mr. Speaker, when even these turkeys won't be able to prevent Christmas. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors, slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. And that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off. <laughs>